I don't know what this is, but I love it. <laughs> well, the great thing about fall <laughs> is that there are so many different foods and flavors associated with it. Today, the cocktail chemist, Demetrius Zaharitis, is showing us to how to incorporate those autumn flavors into a fall punch. Yeah, maybe you're having yeah. a little Halloween party or something. Exactly. I mean, punches, I love to serve punch. So it's National Punch Day. That's why we're making punch today. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but we're using. I know you're trying to. I know what you're thinking. You're not going to. I'm gonna, thinking you're punchy every day. I was going <laughs> to say. I thought you were going to punch me. Uh, some of these do give you a punch, but these are customarily very low in alcohol. Uh, so, uh, we're using some fall flavors going into the fall now. So we're using more um, brown spirits, uh, some whiskey, uh, some brandy, some rum, stuff like that. So, I'm pretty much going down the line with e oil from hardest to easiest. Okay. okay. So I've already assembled this um, this punch. That's what you want to do. You want to assemble it. You want to have a whole punch bowl full of punch so that your guests could just help themselves and you can entertain. Yeah. So this one here has maple syrup, uh, bourbon, black tea, bitters, lemon juice, lime juice, and, uh, and, and a bunch of water because you want it to be low in alcohol so you can enjoy a few of them and not get all okay. banged up really so quick. So again, the main, ingredient, the main alcohol, is, is, is it bourbon? It's bourbon in this one, yes. Yep. And I'm not a big, big fan of bourbon, but this tastes pretty this tastes good. I'm transforming citrusy. you drink yeah. by drink. So okay. that's, that's my goal. It's very citrusy. Right. <laughs> Normally he only likes pink punch, but this is, this is good for so, fall. Yeah, exactly. So that's, you know, that uh, recipe's going to be on the Facebook page, so that, that'll be there. Okay. But then we'll, you know, if you don't want a whole big punch bowl, you just want to make yourself a punch uh, just for yourself kind of thing. Um, we're making this one with uh, some Litchfield bourbon. I just drove by the Litchfield distillery the other day and I was like, Demetrius! Next time you stop in and say hello. Uh, so we're doing some bourbon, some uh, Greek brandy, Metoxa brandy. Uh, then we're doing some citrus. We're gonna use lemon juice, about three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. And a little bit of honey to sweeten it up. Just about a, about a quarter ounce of honey, a little bit Quarter ounce of pomegranate, pomegranate, oh. and uh, some tea. I'm using a peach, uh, peach tea. So we're doing a couple ounces of peach tea because you want that dilution in there. Uh, then we're going to give it a quick shake. So the water's going to actually help dilute it a little bit more. And then we strain. Glass of ice, and that's it. And that's it. Wow, that looks so pretty. We'll garnish this with a little dehydrated orange. Oh, it'll fit in there. Isn't dehydrated that great? orange. And that's it. Karen, do you want Quick. to try this? Very fancy. You go. It's okay. He's going to make another one. So that's the medium one. Now we're going to go to easy. Very easy. easy. So our we friends, like easy. Yes. Yeah, so our friends at. Um, wow, so many different flavors in here. That's the one you would go it's, and it's have fun. Demetrius make for you. Exactly. Yeah, this is a, this is an amazing cocktail. You can make that. That one's pretty but easy to make. This has fewer one, ingredients. We only yes, I see we're doing four. we're using a spice rum. Uh, okay. Spice rum in the in the fall is awesome. I think uh, about an ounce and a half of uh, Bounty spiced rum. Does it matter the brand or do you just? I mean, that's my preference. It's what I use at the bar. So okay, I mean, Bounty spice rum is your yeah, favorite. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, any spice rum would work. Just okay. Fine. It's just pick, picking your favorite. Uh, then we're using a pimento dram. This is an allspice liqueur. So we're doing about a quarter ounce of this just because oh. it's pretty strong on the uh, on That'd the be aromatics. That'd like when you make a pie with allspice, that's yeah, the allspice liqueur exactly. in there. So okay. it's got uh, allspice, cinnamon, a lot of those kind of notes. Spicy, and then spicy. we're using ripe uh, Be Bejan Punch, which our friends out in New Haven have made the mix for us. So they have the citrus in here, they have some bitters, and you don't it's have to do, for you. It's and all it's done all for you. And it's all good for you. It doesn't have all yes. the chemicals nope. and things that it's make all you feel natural, bad. It's all natural cold, fruit. Cold press. Cold press, yes. No heat has ever seen this product. You've been to that store. I've been to this. Yeah, I did the story on them. They're an right. amazing company. Right. Non-GMO, gluten-free, made in the USA. Actually, made in the USA. And you can track back to where the farmers uh, harvest the fruit. I think if you're not a great bartender, this is also less intimidating because you know it's mixed exactly they, the right like way. Like I said, they do it for you. They have a whole bunch of flavors, yeah. but the Bajon Punch is one of my favorites. Pretty. And the color, I see, as long as you make something that looks a little orange, that's sure. the thing. <laughs> it's very welcoming. It's all so fall-like and so delicious. So we do that. We could just add a little bit of bitters on top just for extra spice. What is bitters? Bitters is just a cocktail flavoring. But it's, it's, it's an infusion just, of sorts. That's a, what it is. Okay. Um, I always hear people adding very much bitters, but I was cinnamon, uh, clove, allspice, same oh, stuff. Oh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then a little and then mint, mint on top just to make it, give it a little fresh pop of, so uh, of herb. So punch, just so you know, has to have five ingredients, which is, you know, our spirit, 
we have our sweetener, whatever sweetener you want to put, citrus, oh whatever you want, some spice, so and some good. water. You should try this one too. Right, and I think it's interesting because I know you, you get told a nice me, aromatic. Yeah, because you're smelling the mint, yeah. that changes the flavor. And I purposely make you smell the mint by not putting a straw in there, so you get your face in the drink. Yeah, you have to put your face in the mint. Because if you're so far away, you're not going to smell that beautiful mint. All right, if I had to rank them in terms of favorite, uh -huh. here we go. This is my favorite. Yeah, that's number one. Yeah, really? Number I like one. that. Number one. Yeah. This one smells nice. It's delicious. But they're all good. But <laughs> they're all good. That one's. I like the putting the. See, and it's the easiest one. So and I learned go. from you. You have to hit the mint to hit the release mint. the mint. Yeah, stop drinking. Snack <laughs> the mint. All right, to see fun events and drink recipes from Demetrius, be sure to check out his Facebook page. All you have to do is search Cocktail Chemist. 